I'm here with Dan Wirth. Dan is one of our candidates for Centerville Town Council this October. Dan, thanks for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, well, I was um, born at an Army base in Arizona. My dad was in the Army at the time and lived there about a year. And then uh, moved to, um, we moved back to Dundalk. Um, and that's where I grew up. My dad was a steel worker and my mother was a substitute teacher. Um, after that, I um, went to college in Philadelphia, Drexel University, and graduated with a um, bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. Um, that was the first family to graduate from college. After that, I started working for the Department of the Navy at one of their laboratories, um, and I lived in Ellicott City in Columbia. And then um, in 1995, I started working for NASA and got married soon thereafter. And uh, we decided to move to Centerville um, family because we like the small town atmosphere and uh, the friendliness to the people over here. And um, I've been living over here for like 20 years. Uh, about three years ago, I retired from NASA and uh, began working as a, a consultant for, for NASA well, one of our contractors um, um, sh soon thereafter. And um, when things are slow there uh, in consulting, I um, do Instacart. And also recently I've been doing um, uh, work for the uh, U.S. Census. That's great. What were um, some of the things that led you to decide to get involved with the town council? The, the um, biggest thing is I want the... Uh, I want to live in a town that's responsive to its citizens and businesses and uses talented people, all the talented people that live in town to their fullest potential. One thing I learned while working for NASA is that there are a lot of people that are smarter than me and those people exist in this town too. Mm -hmm. What are some of the major issues that you see facing council this year? Well, when I was out uh, collecting signatures for the, um, the Council of Five uh, Charter Amendment, um, I heard a lot from the citizens, and the, the, of course, the biggest thing at the time was the um, uh, the overruns on the um, Commerce and Liberty Street project, and um, they were, of course, con concerned about that, and, and, and still are. There's just still a lot of questions about what happened, and um, the, the result of all that, of course, is that we now have to pay um, higher water bills, and taxes have, have increased as well. So, People are especially concerned about that. Um, I also had a, got the sense that, that the town didn't really listen to people. And um, I'm not talking about the town day-to-day -to -day staff. I'm talking about the town council itself. And I, I want to be um, one of those, a, a good town council member that actually listens and, and um, understands what people are trying to say. And there was also, um, a feeling that there was a selective enforcement or lack thereof of the, of the town codes. Um, and I want to make sure that we apply the town codes equally. And if um, people don't like the town codes, we should change them. Mm -hmm. There's something in particular that you'd like to see accomplished if you were elected? Um, yes, I basically want to um, be um, more responsive um, as a member of the town council and try to keep taxes and water bills under control. But the, th but the bottom line is I need two other council members to help me with that. You know, I can't do this alone, um, and I hope that people will um, evaluate the other candidates and, and, and elect others that can help out. And I also want to be able to get help from citizens and businesses as well. Um, one thing I've learned being involved with nonprofits is that if um, you don't listen to, to your volunteers, they eventually just go away. You know, if you think the volunteers are just people who will do what you say, that, that doesn't tend to work out. Um, you really need to listen to them and, and, and try to collect their ideas. Okay. Is there anything else that you want to share with our audience today? Um, yeah, I, I'd like to get your vote. Um, I, my name's at the bottom of the ballot. And um, what tends to happen in that case is people uh, vote and they forget, they kind of lose count and they for, forget about me at the bottom of the ballot. So um, I just want you to remember to save one of your votes for me. You're allowed to vote for four people. And um, if you have any questions in the meantime, you can text me or give me a call. My phone number is 
490-3510. And um, if you do call, leave a message because I, that's how I screen calls from telemarketers. Um, that's all. Reasonable practice. Well, thanks for joining us. We really welcome. appreciate it. Okay.